full on Yeah, Chris started a look. Yeah. Have you done this before? Anyway, I'll go with Hello, guys. I may or may not have included the start to the vlog that I did at work. I figured I might forget to start it on the way to dinner. Thankfully, I didn't because Emily reminded me, but I started the vlog really quickly and um, strangely at work. I couldn't really speak or anything. Um, but anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. We are headed to dinner with my friends on South Bank, the people we hung out with last Friday. Don't really have the money to be eating dinner, especially not to drink. So I'm probably not going to drink, but um, it should be a good night with my friends anyway. I'm currently using this as my lighting source. Very good. Um, and we're in the city. See? Hi, it's an Emily with straight hair. So yeah, we're in the city. Um, but yeah, they're already at the restaurant, so I'm gonna head there now. It's gonna be a good night. Um, then we've got stuff on all weekend, but I'll tell you about that later. It's gonna be fun. Also, I almost stopped vlogging just then, but um, work was really good. It was cold calling, but I did well because I was relaxed. And because my voice is sounding better now that I don't smoke, I've got more like capacity in my lungs to not get all puffed out. So it's good. Anyway, going to dinner now. I'll vlog more when I'm on my way home or at home. We're on the way home to Emily's house. Um, I just filmed this clip to end the vlog because I want to end it now um, because everyone's asleep at Emily's house because it's quarter past one in the morning. But I looked back on it and like half my face was cut off like up here. So I'll just refilm it. Anyway, I had a really good dinner with my friends. Um, we usually only catch up once every three months. But this is the second dinner we've had or second time I've seen them in a week. Um, which is good because it'll be another three months now until I see them again. So yeah, and this time Demi was there and she wasn't there last week, so that was good. Um, I smoked a cigarette after dinner, so I'm kind of disappointed in myself and my lungs feel like shit. Um, and it tasted disgusting. So I'm kind of debating whether or not to buy a new pouch of tobacco or to continue trying to quit. I don't know, I don't feel that strong in it. But I'm proud of myself for going over 50 hours without it, but I don't know how I feel right now. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to go home, go to sleep, see how I feel in the morning. It's not the end of the world if I do buy more, but it's also a really great thing for me if I don't because I'm, I've been enjoying it. I think I kind of need to get into an exercise like running routine while I've quit smoking because that will really deter me from starting again because it is so much easier to run when you're not smoking. So yeah, I'm disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I'll get there eventually. At least I'm trying, right, I guess. I know I can do it because I've done it before. I quit for four years once. Um, I just don't want to become one of those people that smokes for a couple of years, quits for a little bit, smokes for a couple of years, quits for a little bit. I know I won't. I'm stronger than that. I'll get there eventually. So disappointed, but also proud that I quit for over 50 hours. So moving forward, I will try again. Look how cold it is. Can you see that? Anyway, um... Tomorrow we're going to see a queer film festival film with Emily's parents and then on Sunday we're having a birthday, belated birthday dinner. She had kind of a birthday dinner on her birthday but Sunday she's going to have like all the food she actually wants and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to stop rambling. Can't wait to get home and sleep. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.